Hello and welcome along to another JA Karting video from Three Sisters. And today we're in the Three Sisters Summer Sprint. We're in Group A and this is the first heat. And thanks to a good qualifying, we're starting second on the grid, just behind Emma. And we've got uh, Lewis and Rich in pretty close order behind us. So we get away from the start line relatively well but we drop a little bit behind Emma and um, we'd said originally that we were going to try and work together and, and get away from the chasing pack and certainly Emma did a good job of that to begin with um, but already I could tell that I'd got a pretty good car so I knew that I was going to have some pace in a straight line um, Emma gets some some good traction through Luna but I can see that I'm catching her down the straight um, and we're not really even in the slipstream here so um, I'm just going to try and get my head down and uh, try and catch Emma and as we come through the last couple of corners you can see we've already gained on Emma pretty well and um, getting a good exit here puts us pretty much right on Emma's tail and as we go through the first sequence of corners we get really really close and I I can already tell I've got a lot of speed to use, so um, the, the space opens up on the inside and we take that. But we don't get away from Emma, um, and through Luna we keep a wide line here because we're, you know, we're leaving each other space, and that allows Emma straight back through. But knowing what we know about the car already, um, I was confident that we could get back on Emma's tail, and that's exactly what we do here. And I, I give her a bit of a wave and a signal to say, I've got a lot of straight line speed, let's go together. Um, and so I, I try and get my foot down here and the the cornering of the, the cart wasn't brilliant but straight line was really good but again we go a bit wide here I think Emma was on the inside and I, I took a wider line and she gets straight back through again um, so we don't manage to hold first place but again we're right on Emma's tail we're, we're putting her in awkward positions so that she can't take the corner maybe like she would want to um, but here I know that I don't have to force the issue. I'm not going to send any crazy moves and put Emma out or myself out. And I know that I've got the straight line speed to, to get past eventually. So the space opens up through Luna and we get quite literally our, our head down. Um, we want to try and capitalise on the straight line speed of the car. And that's exactly what we do here. Um, coming through the, the top bend... I haven't got Emma on my shoulder like we did have the last time, so we can pull a bit of a gap, we can take the final corner like we would really want to, um, and carry all that speed through, and, and that's what we do. So after just a couple of laps, we make it into first place, and now the trick is going to be, can we keep it? Can we hold our, our speed? We know that we had um, Emma in close contention, but we've got a lot of good drivers around us. We had. Lewis and Rich from the Wrong Direction team, but we've got um, Josh as well, who's a very good driver, so we, we knew we had some good people in and around us. Um, the one thing I do know is that I've got a very quick car in a straight line, so I'm trying to capitalise on that, particularly down the long back straight where I can really maximise that speed, and, and at the minute, the trick for me is just trying to keep clean, consistent laps get our head down and try and pull a bit of a gap to um, the chasing pack and now that we're getting into a bit of a rhythm we're into lap five now we can see we're doing pretty quick consistent laps but as you can see from the last lap Josh put in a, an absolute stormer of a lap and he's going to be catching Emma um, so all we're focusing on is getting our head down getting quick laps in and through these sorts of corners I can have a look to my right and see how close people are in behind us. Fortunately for me I can see that I've not got anybody right on my tail so I can just take corners like I would want to and um, take the optimum racing line and try and maximize the cart speed. So that's really all we're doing here. We're just trying to get good quick fast laps in and I always find first place is a challenge because I, I seem to work best when I've got somebody to chase and um, Tommy in the ghost car um, gives us a bit of that for, for the last couple of corners but I definitely find that um, 
I'm able to maximise my pace when I'm behind somebody, when I'm chasing, when I can see what lines that they're doing and and try and tailor my own lines to, to kind of capitalise on those positions. But again, we can see we've got a lot of pace and head down for a bit of human DRS down the back straight, but still just trying to do clean, consistent laps. And once you get into a bit of free air, that really is the... The main objective for me whenever I get into the front I know that there's quick carts behind us and you can see from the kind of lap times that others around are doing that those guys are going to be battling those guys are going to be close and as it happens Josh manages to get past Emma on that last lap so um, he's a bit impeded as is she on on the lap times but um, overall you know they're still putting in quick laps as we get past the back marker, we want to make sure we're not losing any time to to slower carts or back markers behind us because we really can't afford to be drawn back into um, battles with good cart racers. So um, again, try and maximise the cart, get as much out of it as possible down that back straight because that really is where we're going to be able to pull away from people with that top end speed that we have. And as we come into um, the pit straight again we can see um, Simon on our um, on our left hand side giving us a thumbs up from um, Team Wrong Direction to tell me I'm doing a good job and that we're um, we're progressing well so I can you know keep my head down and, and know that we're, we're doing pretty well you can see that um, that last lap I, I managed to pull a bit more of a gap away from Josh so um, again I can have a look over to my right and see all round Luna Bend to see where those kind of um, closer carts might be and again know that we've not really got anybody in close quarters so we can you know just do our best to, to go quickly and be consistent and I think that was really the key for this race um, for me was being consistent obviously trying to work with Emma at the beginning um, but once we knew we had that faster car we had to capitalize on it and, and get away down the straight um, and again we're kind of coming up towards the last couple of laps now so um, the focus is on not making any mistakes. I don't need to push as hard, so I can just be clean and consistent and try and uh, put fast laps in, but they don't have to be absolutely astonishing laps. I know that I'm quick. I know that we've got a good cart that is going to help us get out of trouble down the straight. Um, so not making any mistakes is going to be critical because I can't afford a spin or to go out wide and slow myself down because... Even though we've we've done well and we pulled a bit of a gap here, we're you know maybe one or two seconds is is around about the gap at this point. Um, I know that the guys behind are going to be just as quick as me. They're going to be putting in similar sorts of lap times, so I can't afford a spin or a or a skid out wide that would lose me a second or two because they'll be right back on me. And now we head into this final lap, and you can see that um, Rich from Team Run Direction has has made his way past Emma. And so there's going to be a close battle on there for, for finishing third, even though Rich is in the heavyweight category. Um, and again, for me, I'm just trying to get my head down, try and keep the laps consistent and um, trying to gauge how much time I've got left here. I kind of um, am never quite sure whether I've got one or two laps left, so I still have to push. Um, but again, here we, we're just putting in really good clean laps and that is always the key so as we round this kind of final bend um, we've kept our competition away um, and as we head towards the line we're going to finish this race in in p1 um, and come over with the win so really good race really happy with how that progressed and um, it was pretty good for team wrong direction so the guys um, behind so josh emma then rich and and lewis um, so we've got to try and hope that we can keep this consistency for the next race. So um, tune in, like and subscribe for more and we'll see you again really soon.